So, reality tend to come back. You see this person. This is a neighbor. Is one of many. Um, and I hear this neighbor say something. Right. Uh, th- this neighbor says something disgusting. He says something. Uh, you 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 masturbate to kids or something like that. Something disgusting. And then they try to talk about me as a kid. I'm like, listen, kids can do something, uh, things that are stupid. Children are children. They do stupid things for moments, and that's that. And that's the something I did, uh, some a thing that I did as a child to myself that is embarrassing looking back. Mind you, I'm talking about somebody who's 13, 14 years old. And today what they're trying to do, they force me to have these disturbing sexual thoughts of children and say, no, that's you, our kids, right? Uh, this morning I made a video about how they were having this back and forth in my brain and they used this, this, there was this toddler there and they tried to make me, I was like, oh, you nasty low lowlifes. Matter of fact, not too long ago, they were talking about the, the, uh, the adult content I like and uh, which is like, uh, I gotta say, I'm sorry for, for, for being graphic because like, I do like, like interracial adult content or something like that, right? Because they like to say things about like races and whatnot. And then as I'm thinking about it, they just immediately start making me imagine a child. Because what's happening today is uh, while I'm watching adult content, they make me think of children. They're like, in the mix of my climax, it's so disgusting. And you see people like them, like this trash, trying to get you to subscribe to these things. It's so disgusting. But these people are, are bottom feeders. Because the reality of things is, they tell me they're going to implant child porn on my, my computer, on my, my, my devices. These people have issues. Well, I mean, I'm talking about the, 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 the higher ranks, the people on top have issues with pedophilia. I'm going to bring up, obviously, what the BuzzFeed article has called out. There is a pattern of pedophilia in these agencies. And for me, what's happening now is they're forcing me to have the sexual thoughts about children which is something they've been doing to others. It's called the pedophilia type of torture. I brought enough, about now, like I'm well, almost a thousand video, almost, um, saying that other target individuals have talked about the pedophilia type of torture, basically forcing you to experience disturbing sexual thoughts about children, right? And they do that a lot when I'm like, in, in a, like when I'm like having sex, when I'm like having moments of like, climax during when i watch adult content and they even play with my libido so badly and make me think of children it's disgusting so they train your brain in this pedophilia ways and it's not just me they do that to so many others and when i try to have like a moment and watch adult content where they which is two adults having sex they in my mind they try to say oh other thing they implant children that's why these people have very pedophilia centric issues and people like that would say the nastiest things and try to make you subscribe to this thing. These people are fucking trash. I'm sorry for the language. But the reality of these neighbors of mine who are perps, that the pedophiles, the people masturbating to child content, to children, happen to be the people they work for. Not a freaking 8th grader who did something to himself when he's an 8th grader, 13, 14 year old. I'm talking about CIA agent right now. I'm talking about people working in DARPA. People working in DOD. Adults, men and women. Adults, people working in these agencies. And this trash who wants to live this fantasy are trying to make me think in these disgusting ways. And they even tell me they're going to implant child porn. That's what they don't like to be seen. It's like, oh, this person is going to rape you. It's so horny. Because they're trying to interrupt what I'm saying. Because what I'm saying is, these people are filled with pedophiles. And there's been validation of that. We're not talking about children doing stupid things. We're talking about actual people working in these entities. And this fucker is saying this thing out loud, knowing that he never want to be seen by me. Because how, how embarrassing is it? Why is there so many pedophiles in these agencies? I can call you a pedophile in your face and blast this thing about this BuzzFeed article that you're going to listen in a few seconds. And you won't know what to do. A bunch of fucking pedos that even torture children. 
So if with me, they know I'm gonna I'm gonna see them as I remember this trash was coming up with stories like, Oh, we have your cookies, we're gonna see your thing is a freaking trash. You wish for trash. Go get your cookies of your you the agents contracting you, you fucking trash. I'm sorry for the language, I'm so sorry, but I see them for what they are. So I have no problem showing the face of these low lives like that. Who have no pro- who have no problem forcing an adult, men or women, to think about children in a sexual way. And for me, they're like, no, we just match it to you when you were a kid. Remember when you are in middle school? And I can listen to this thing that you're going to listen to two seconds from now. I embarrass these people to the nth degree. I call them pedophiles. They, can, they don't know what to look at. Next time they come by here, oh, this is, oh, why is there so many pedophiles in these agencies? This Asian downloading child porn on their government devices for what? For research purposes? These p- p- low lives that have no shame, that live this degrading life, working for pedophiles. <laughs> I pray they continue to live this life. I pray that this this the life they they live for the rest, the humiliating life that they end up. Uh, uh, you know, they talk about they're gonna implant their porn. <laughs> Go ahead, implant your child porn. We know that you guys have plenty of that. Pedophiles that rewire the brains in these fashions and pretty like we're investigating. Death comes to all of us. All of us are gonna die. I could have been living like them and doing this thing. Oh, no, no, I, I, child porn. It's, it's our child porn. We're gonna implant child porn. People who are here torturing children, grown men, grown men and women. I go outside and see these low lives. Grown men and uh, grown men and, and and women in a program that is training people's brain to to look at kids in a sexual way. This is what you call trash. This is what you call trash. Trash. They do these things. You see that? Trash. They are bottom feeders. And they wonder why there's so many pedophiles in these agencies. They sold their soul to pedophiles and now here talk about me as a child. <laughs> well, this trash, right now, they were making me think of this adult content and then immediately flip it to, to children. And talk about what they did to me this morning where they were making me have this dialogue and back and forth, should I, you know? And then immediately this kid comes up, like, oh, disgusting. I make a video about it immediately. It's like, this is what they were doing. They tried to do this and that because this kid was coming up in my, on my screen. And now in my head, they tried to change the version. I, I, thankfully, I make videos and put, put things back in perspective. And then they, they, they can't be seen by me. Death comes to all of us. The humiliating life of a grown man who is supposed to make another person believe and subscribe to this pedophilia type of torture and identify to that is the most humiliating way of living life. I can be starving to death there, unable to walk, lose my mind. It'll be better than be, oh, you beat off the kids. Something like that. When you're in a program that is literally forcing grown men and women, grown men and women to look at children in sexual ways and be in a program where the entities that are running this program have a problem with pedophilia where these agents from CIA to DARPA are downloading thousands of child porn on the government devices and now they, the humiliating trash cannot even be seen. And there's the no, but remember what you did when you were 13, 14 years old? You freaking really? You, 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 really? Do you remember that I know that you torture children? Do you know that I know that you, you, you're renowned for this pedophilia type of torture? Are you matched to me when I'm like in middle school? Who, who, who is matching these this, this, uh, uh, agents in this DARPA and, and CIA too? Oh, no, they're not matching. What, what are they doing? They don't chop on their government devices. It's awkward, right? Uh, are you matching the perfect type of torture? How many people are talking about the perfect type of torture, forcing men and women to think about children in a sexual way? And they want me to like, no, you pay for what you did as a kid. What the? F- who, she, well, so what should happen to people like you? You understand? To my target individual, you could be a person like that. You could be a, like a, a person like that. Countering reality. They like pay for it. I know what they do to children. 
pay for it. I know what they do to women and, and, and men and how they manipulate people. Pay for it. They know that I know that these people are recruited and contracted by freaking pe- ent- entities filled with pedophiles. If I see this trash and he tries to... Do you understand the level of aggression I can have for this person? This trash work for entities filled with pedophiles. And he, he knows that. And he's trying to talk about me as a 13, 14 year old kid. While this trash are actually torturing children. You're going to listen to all of it. I'm not going to let them escape from a fantasy. Look at this person's face. Look at what he's in. Do you think this person is protecting children? You should see the rest of them. By their mothers, he resigned. One employee estimated that he had viewed up to 1,400 sexually abusive images of children while on agency assignments. Not sure what actions, if any, were taken by him. One contractor, I think that you mentioned that, posing as a child, he had his contract revoked. One CIA staffer was charged with child sexual crimes, and the employee was also under investigation. Sexual conduct, this is one employee of the CIA, had sexual contact with a two-year-old and a six-year-old. He was simply fired. One employee purchased sexually explicit videos of young girls filmed by their mothers. BuzzFeed, including the viewing the viewing of images of abuse, have been uncovered at other agencies that handle sensitive information. In a November 2009 report, the Department of Defense acknowledged that dozens of Pentagon staff members or contractors had such images. In 2014, the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community found that two officials from the National Reconnaissance Office, which oversees America's spy satellites, acknowledged viewing images of child sexual abuse during polygraph examinations. This is so disturbing. At a symposium in 2016, Daniel Payne, a top Pentagon security official, said that when workers' computers were examined, the amount of child porn I see is just unbelievable. Is this something that is happening for whatever reason with more frequency um, in our intelligence agencies? Or is this something that is more pervasive in the general population than I originally realized. I mean, what's going on here? This is Look, so I mean, bizarre. Remember, it's so evil. Ali, we're told, and I, when I was put through recruitment into the Intel telegraphs, you're put through a rigorous selection process, why aren't these people weeded out? Why are so many right. pedophiles allowed to be given top-level security clearance? Remember, these aren't just people walking in off the street and saying, hey, can I get hired? Can I get a job? You're put through an extremely rigorous background check, check screening, screening process. It's called an SSBI, single scope background investigation. There are people, they interview you, they interview your family, they interview your contacts, they, they go through your online footprint, they go through everything. So why is it? that when they're going through these footprints, they're not checking, these digital footprints, they're not checking for so many pedophiles getting through their ranks. If it were up to me, you need to go into Congress and Congress needs to launch a brand new church committee, number one, to talk about domestic surveillance operations, but number two, to ask the question, why are there so many pedophiles sitting behind those computer screens within the walls of Langley, within the Pentagon, and throughout the broader intelligence community? So I was outside because there's neighbors who try to counter it. As a matter of fact, there's people like ro- walking around and I was like, I could see like nothing. But they will try to like counter what you listen to. Because the reality is like they do this pedophilia type of torture right now. They try to make me imagine something that I barely even saw. I saw like somebody like just zooming through the balcony. I couldn't visit. I just saw something pink out of running. And they tried to make me imagine that's a kid. It's like whatever it was, I couldn't even tell what the fuck it was. So they tried to counter reality, right? Because this is the reality. Why is there so many pedophiles in these agencies? Why is there so many a- agents in these agencies doing these pedophilia things? Why? Why is there so many pedophilia in this agency and they're supposed to be protecting kids? Why? Because these people use pedophilia and they sold their soul to pedophiles. And now they try to pretend these things like, oh, it's you. There is a pattern here that's obvious. That not only they hurt kids, but they also torture children. But there is a problem with pedophilia. And you have people around you, the whole ecosystem, where they get paid to do these things. One agent, they found thousands of child porn on his government devices. On his government, on the CIA government devices. 
And they are here trying to pretend like they're looking at their phone. They're investigating. <laughs> investigating what? These people have so much problem with pedophilia. A grown man is out here trying to make another man think about children in a pedophilia way. And they think I'm going to look at them in a respectable way. They sold their soul to pedophiles. They know what they signed up for and they want to live this fantasy. Death comes to all of us, target individual. We could live like them. It's not about wealth because I'm sure they make more money than whoever. But for them to try to delude themselves that these people are not a bunch of pedophiles. I'd rather get cut in pieces. There's dignity in this death. They sold their soul to pedophiles and I'm going to keep bringing up. Now listen to what they do to kids in this program. I, who has autism. And she was the most significantly affected of all of my clients. I eventually had to tell this client to go to another clinic. They used her the most extreme forms of torture. For several months, and scream horribly during our therapy sessions despite having a great day at school. This was highly unusual behavior for her as she usually behaved very well during her therapy sessions and had been making incredible progress on all of her therapy goals. This was used to threaten extreme torture on me, making me scream and cry, etc. They would make the kids act out the kinds of torture that would later be done on me. For example, they would also sometimes make her bite her hand, threatening to make me bite my hands, as they often do. One day, she had a large, severe bite mark on her arm. She has also grabbed her crotch, saying, ow, and this was used to threaten me with severe sexual torture. <laughs> one day, I was observed... One day, I also observed her gasping for air a few times in the same way that I do when I am being more severely suffocated. The suffocation had been in a mild state for a while up until this point. Many of their torture methods are cyclical in severity. Right after I saw this child being suffocated, then I began to experience very extreme suffocation all day, every day, for about two months straight, and that's also when they made it worse when I eat. Then I also work with a four-year-old little girl with Down syndrome, as well as her five-year-old sister, who also has Down syndrome. I observed both of these girls suddenly grabbing their genitals in pain and verbalizing, ow. I observed this at least on one or two occasions for each of them during their session. I also have had a couple of kids that experienced zaps of pain to their hands as they covered the sore spot with their other hand, saying, ouch, while the V2K in my head crotch and leaned forward in his chair. And then he made a frightening grimace of severe pain. I asked him what was wrong and if he needed to use the restroom, but he said no to having to use the restroom and was not able to verbalize anything more due to his language delay. He looked puzzled and bewildered. Even though I had stated that it was time to do more work right before this incident, I quickly just let him play another game and he quickly returned to his joyful, happy self again. In other sessions... Now, listen to what they do to kids. They, they, they do horrible things to children. They torture them sexually and they want to live their fantasy, right? And they try to block reality. Now I understand they're doing it for a purpose. You know, it's money. There's something inv invested in that. But to, to be in a program that they know they hurt kids and I'm here in my balcony looking at my neighbors trying to counter reality. They know what they do to children. They do the pedophilia type of torture. They ran by pedophiles and they do these nasty things. And they tell me how I'm going to be screaming. How can you run to the death my, right now? They give me a sense of dignity. You see a grown woman and a man who's trying to counter the reality. You know what they've done to children? A child. They torture the three-year-old child testicles with this technology. A seven-year-old autistic kids cannot breathe because they gasp, meaning they suck the lungs out. And they try to counter that. Death comes to all of us. I didn't sell myself to pedophiles and I'm thankful that I die like this. Then having to live like them. I see people selling their soul and try to come out with the fantasy. They tried everything to counter it. There's people doing noise campaign and doing everything to counter that. Earlier there's somebody next to like facing balcony running around like a pink. I don't know, like I couldn't see. They tried to make me imagine a child and make me imagine some disturbing stimulation to do the perfect things they do. T but do they, they don't do perfect type of torture? Okay, wait for that. The tactic of belief systems and the human will. In no touch torture, the techniques are more psychologically specialized for each target. 
Most common examples include homosexual targets that are forced with voices that are derogatory to their lifestyle and similar mental images. Almost all targets are forced to view child pornography in their minds. And I am as a person. Is somebody trying to take over my mind, putting thoughts of pedophilia? Like, this disgusting, disgusting, disgusting things. And you saw where I was going with that first word. Disgusting things that I don't even want to talk about because it makes me sick. I don't even like those words in my mind. But it is what it is. So I have no choice now but to acknowledge that there are people in my in my surroundings or whatever they're doing. I don't know how they do it. I don't care. I don't know if it's through. That's what is referred to as malodorants. This is the alteration of the smell sensation so that I am often made to smell various things, including smoke, burning, dirty diaper, or baby powder, which they sometimes combine with the pedophilia type of torture, including the threat of planted dreams and videos. In Shortly thereafter, I got my period two weeks early when I was usually very regular and discovered that this is one of the well-known biological effects of severe microwave radiation poisoning because these symptoms of sexual assault were not physiologically normal or possible without external manipulation. It is not physiologically normal to just have repeated spontaneous orgasms all through the night like that, literally one right after another. And then it all made sense when I learned about microwave weapons. In 2015, I began to experience what some call V2K or voice to skull. This involves the projection of voices, noises, and music directly into my mind to communicate with me in real time and at the speed of thought. And it also includes the manipulation of thoughts, emotions, and perceptions in the person's mind. Additionally, the targeting is all highly perverted and sexual as well as destructive and violent. Day and any time I am awakened at night, every night. They range from mild to extreme, but usually involve daily and nightly continuous assaults for the past three years now. When severe, the zaps to the genitals feel as though someone is electrocuting my genitals repeatedly. I also often see highly disturbing pornographic images and videos, including highly disturbing pedophilia type of images and videos when I close my eyes. They're told by who? By the voices, the V2K. So they'll say, we're the Russian government, we're the Chinese government, we're evil aliens, we're Satan's, you know, satanic ritual abuse. Uh, we're, and I've heard all the stories. One guy believed it was his, uh, some 14 year old kid with an Xbox that lived next door. The trickery really is that great when you're under hypnosis that people will believe something other than a massive government uh, could do this. Um, and so, anyway, what, you know, our inter my interview with Len, he very well described a typical breakdown script that's used on almost all the TI victims. TI stands for targeted individuals. Um, some of them are pretty crazy. They go... They have names like Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz, um, and those are the confusion tactics. And when they're breaking down the ego of the human through all the pains and tortures and, and the verbal breakdown, um, these are typical CIA torture scripts. I mean, <laughs> Kabur, Kubark manual. Mm -hmm. the, and they do good cop, bad cop interrogation called Jeff and Mutt and... Uh, they go right through the list, right? Just textbook. So whoever the handlers are on the other side of this synthetic telepathy, they're following the handbook perfectly. And the Down tactic of belief systems into human will. The Pentagon staff members or contractors had such images. In 2014, the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community found that two officials from the National Reconnaissance Office, which oversees 
America's spy satellites acknowledge viewing images of child sexual abuse during polygraph examinations. This is so disturbing. At a symposium in 2016, Daniel Payne, a top Pentagon security official, said that when workers' computers were examined, the amount of child porn I see is just unbelievable. Is this something that is happening for whatever reason with more frequency um, in our intelligence agencies? Or is this something that is more pervasive in the general population than I originally realized. I mean, what's going on here? This is Look, so I mean, bizarre remember, and so evil. Ali, we're told, and I, when I was put through recruitment into the intel community, you know, you're put through polygraphs, you're put through a rigorous selection process. Why aren't these people weeded out? Why are so many right. pedophiles allowed to be given top level security clearance remember these aren't just people walking in off the street and saying hey can i get hired can i get a job you're put through an extremely rigorous background check screening screening process it's called an ssbi single scope background investigation there are people they interview you they interview your family they interview your contacts okay, they go through your online footprint they go through everything so why is it that when they're going through these footprints they're not checking these digital footprints they're not checking for so many pedophiles getting through their ranks if it were up to me you need to go into congress and congress needs to launch a brand new church committee number one to talk about domestic surveillance operations but number two to ask the question why are there so many pedophiles sitting behind those computer screens within the walls of langley within the pentagon and throughout the broader intelligence community so as I was listening to that, they were doing everything possible. Like, you use your hands. You try to, and, and try to find ways to counter. That is what they do. They try to counter reality. Earlier, when you listened to the first thing, I was sitting in my balcony, and some pink person, somebody wearing pink, just zoomed by. I, could, I barely get a glimpse of who zoomed by. I don't know if it's a child, I don't know if it's an adult. I just see somebody just run. I, I can see something pink. They make me imagine a child. It could actually be a child, but they try to make me imagine this thing in a sexual way. Ugh, this person or whatever it is in a disturbing way. Ugh. And it's like, do you see? No, you manipulate the perception. You can make somebody perceive things in a sexual way. And they've done that a lot with children. They do the pedophilia type of torture. And the reality of these people try to counter reality. You hear these patterns of pedophilia. Not only did they fill with pedophiles in these agencies, but the tactics of pedophilia ways are, is what they do. And everybody's trying to counter that. There's a whole ecosystem. These people around me, my neighbors. Obviously, I know there is not them doing this. Like, I understand it's not. They're just perps. They're contracted to do these things. Their job is to make me believe that what I'm experiencing now is happening naturally. It's not. That, it's their job. Because they know what actually is happening. They know that my brain is being messed with. They can play with my brain. They can make me experience different things. And they sold their soul to these pedophiles. And now they're like, oh no, it's you. You know what I'm saying? They know who I am and they try to change me. That's what they do. That's their job. And they live this humiliating life because me, I know what they do to children. I know what they do to the type of torture. Matter of fact, right now they even play with my, my, my genitals. That's what they do. And I'm not going to let them live the, ex the fantasy. I, I saw a mother. She was like excited. going to be raped. going to be like, what? Me being raped and tortured and cut up in pieces is not going to change the reality. Welcome to the world you're in. You're in a world where you are ran by pedophiles and forcing people to experience these disgusting things. And stop trying to make yourself imagine things. It's you when you're a kid. It's you and matched it. Really? Really? With all this obviousness that you guys do this nasty manipulation, force people to see things in different ways, perceptions are manipulated, thoughts are manipulated, everything is conditioned, you play with the libido, I can, I can bring some more things. Do you want to talk about how you manipulate the sexual arousals? Okay. This technology can be used to sexually manipulate the target. It can make the target feel sexual arousal or the target individual feels sexual arousals. This is not something I made up. This is something a target individual is talking about. What do you think they're going to do with your sexual arousals? Are they going to map it? Oh no, they're going to break you down with that. Because the goal is to break you down and make you think of yourself as somebody you're not. It's disgusting, but that's what they do. It's so disgusting.
And then in my mind, like, nah, true. Like, they're trying to do everything possible to disorient you. Because can you imagine trying to counter this reality? So you tell me these people don't do this perfect type of torture because I'm going to scream? Do you think these people uh, don't, don't force people to see kids in these perfect ways because I'm going to be raped? Reality is not something I'm going to let them escape. The people are here masturbating to children are the same people contracting these slow lives. They are trying to make you subscribe to this. There is a problem with pedophilia at this agency. It's not a 13, 14 year old kid who did something stupid. They actually, CIA agent doing things to two. Year- the people who are hurting kids, it's not a 13, 14 year old kid. It's this trash next door contracted to do these horrible things to people. And these psyops, oh, we match it. Oh, we, we, it's our world. We're, we're, we're protecting the neighborhood. We're, we're, we're the Russian government. We're the Chinese government. We're, we're the mafia. We're, we're, we're the, the, all the bullshit. We know who's running this. It's the, the Department of Defense. It's those entities up there with trillions or maybe hundreds of billions of dollars at, 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 in their budget. Unlimited amount of funding. That's global. Now these people were here coming up with their analysis where we're, we're, we're matching, we're investigating, we're protecting the neighborhood. Me in my apartment, 14T. It's our money. Of course they know this shit. That's why these people are willing to dumb themselves down. They know they need, I'm not smarter than them. They know. But because of the benefits, they're going to dumb themselves, them, uh, themselves however they need to. Because the benefits are greater. And they're going to find whatever they can to hold on to it. It's like, oh, this is you. And then try to make you accept our obvious falsification of perception. I saw this. Like, let me say, there's some person that ran. I don't know what the F this person looks like. It's so far away, first of all, in the first place to even, like, able to picture exactly what's going on. But you see somebody just running. I don't have the best eyesight, too. So this is like, you see just like a pink thing running. Poof. Their perception, they make me imagine like a 10 year old, 12 year old kid and try to make me look at this kid in a sexual way, make me imagine like this breast of a, of a chubby little 10, 12 year old ugh, to try to torment me. This thing is disgusting. To all my target individual, we all have dignity. I will never let them live the fantasy. I will see my neighbors sitting on the balcony. Excited, but they're gonna rape you. They're gonna torture me. me I'm, I've accepted death. I'm just thank God to that. I didn't have to live the life that you guys live. It's not about poverty. You probably made a lot, a lot of money. We're talking about entities with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of resources. Uh, I mean, the entities, the richest entities in this world. So I'm sure the the financial aspect of things is probably very well. I'm sure. I I, I'm, I can only speculate that there's uh, plenty of money. But one thing is for sure, if you think I'm going to let you think that uh, this reality you've put together is real, <laughs> no, you know what it can do. You know this technology is sophisticated. That's why you call yourself a God. You can make me ex- experience everything you want. You can make me look at people in these disturbing ways, perce- perceptions. Matter of fact, there was the older woman there. She's, uh, you know, she's an older woman. They start making me look at her in a sexual way. Now, it's not the worst, right? She's an adult woman, a grown-ass woman. They, they have this, like, weird pink thing that walked through. And they start making me imagine, like, a 10-year-old, like, and depressed. <laughs> it's so disgusting. They try to make me think of me when I'm 10 years old. It's crazy. But that's what they do. So to all my target individual, when these people try to approach me and make me live their fantasy, that's what I come up with. Reality. And when you see people like them, you see for them for the trust that they are. The low life shit that will get reimbursed when the day comes. For all the horrible things they've done to people. For these pedophilia things they force people to, to experience. They call it being at war. For war of what? This trash that you just work for these entities, fail pedophiles that experiment on human beings. And try to make them accept these manipulations. I can never let them live their fantasy.